What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we're looking at the new flashlight grip and red dot sight. So these are the two first accessories available to us out of the rival line. I'm really excited they've started to make accessories, and they're pretty sweet and tactical, all black and whatnot. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the box and see what we got here. So let's start with the uh, red dot sight, because that's the, actually the one I'm most excited about. This is actually an adjustable sight, just like a, a real red dot sight, so this should be pretty sweet. It has a quick release lock, so you can take it on and off really quickly, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it does require, I believe, let's see, where, oh, yeah, two uh, AAA batteries, and the flashlight grip is a grip and flashlight, obviously. Uh, it requires three AAA batteries. This also has the locking mechanism. This is an LED light. We'll see how good the light is. Also, it has a detachable grip, so you can just use the light if you want to, or you could screw this on and have a grip and a flashlight. And the other thing that's really cool about these is they're actually die cast. So these are actually metal, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll take a look at that for sure when I get them out of the box. Let's get them open. Fell right on the ground. <laughs> Guess it's supposed to come out this side. That's pretty sweet though. All right. Oh, there goes the locking mechanism. So there's the uh, red dot sight. That thing is pretty sweet. I am very impressed. I can already tell you that there's just part of this is die cast. This is metal up here, but this part is plastic down here. And then obviously this is orange, unlike on the box where it was black. So that's interesting, but uh, I guess we should have a little bit of orange on there. I don't know. It'd been a little bit cooler if it was black, in my opinion. Go ahead and get this guy open, and then we'll put them together. Okay, this one was actually put in the box the right direction, so that's positive. And that's what it looks like in the box. Pretty sweet. Again, orange locking rail. Nice. Very, very nicely made. Seems like for a Nerf product anyways. And then the uh, grip goes on somehow or another. There we go. And then turns on. Yeah, nice. So yeah, this part is die cast, the, the light is, and this part seems like it's plastic, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And this looks like it goes this way. There we go. Assume you just push it on. Takes a little force. There we go. Got that on there. We'll do this one now. Same deal. It only can go on one way. Just like that. Looks like. There we go. Cool. It's a tight fit. I don't think that's coming off of there. All right. Got to install the batteries. Uh, the batteries go right in here on this one. That is a very dim light, I can already tell, without even the lights off. But uh, I guess the advantages of that is you're not going to blind anybody and it might actually be allowed in like an HVZ or People Purposes People event that's like in low light situation. Uh, because I know a lot of lights are so bright that they don't allow them because they blind people. So that's uh, that doesn't surprise me too much that it's a, a dim light. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and throw them on the blaster and see how they look. All right, that's them on the blaster. Uh, pretty sweet, very easy, I think, for the flashlight to turn on and off. Obviously, I like that. The grip is comfortable, really cool. The red dot sight is awesome. You can adjust, here, I'll show you this side. You can adjust the, the light, uh, how far up and down it goes by using this little toggle switch right here. Um, so that'll take it down and then up. And that what that is actually doing is there's a screen in here that's slightly tinted. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually just tilts it like this or this to make the light go up and down. The uh, light here doesn't actually move. It's the glass or probably plastic inside there that moves. The way these lock and are really cool. I really like that. You just undo it and it just comes right off. You put it right back on. You just latch this. I'll show you from this side. You latch that, locks it right on there really convenient, really awesome. And it's pretty secure on there, unlike a lot of Nerf attachments in the Elite line or what what have you, modulus line. 
these actually lock on pretty well compared to any other Nerf attachment I've ever used. So like that a lot. Uh, the grip is actually pretty, a lot more stable than I thought it would be. I mean, it's not like super locked on there because obviously it's on a rail, but I think it's pretty good. And I'm actually pretty satisfied with that considering it's a Nerf product. So I'm actually liking both of these products quite a bit. I mean, it has a little bit of play. I'm like moving on it pretty good, but that's just forward and back. So I decided it's not a ton. I mean, it's pretty good on there. And um, yeah, this makes this really easy to shoulder now. I mean, it's really nice. You can use that to bring it back on your shoulder. I think the grip here is what this blaster needed. In case you were wondering, the on-off switch for the sight is right here. So I'm gonna to try to show you guys what this looks like if you were wielding the blaster, I guess. This is what I was saying. You can move this up and down this way. So the light goes down, goes up. So there's how many settings are there? One, two, three, four, five settings. So not bad. We'll leave it right there where it's pretty much in the middle. So yeah, it's really cool. And the other thing I like about this this setup is you can actually you can place this wherever you want to on the rail. Like as far forward or back. Unlike Nerf rails where you pretty much have to put it wherever the uh, wherever it sits, um, you can move this along the rail wherever you want. So hopefully that helps you see kind of what I'm seeing. We'll definitely go ahead and take a look at the light in a darker situation now. Okay guys, so I know it's not pitch black in here, but it's darker obviously and uh, hopefully you can see that light. It's kind of strange because it halos. I'm not sure why it's doing that. This is obviously not the greatest light. It's not very bright, but Nerf obviously doesn't want to blind people, and I'm sure if they put a real powerful light on here, they would get a lot of complaints and possibly sued even. All right, we're in the dark. We're gonna see how well this light lights up things. So it's very halo-y like I was showing you earlier. And yeah, not the best light, but you can see more in real life than you can on camera. But yeah, it's uh, not the best. So I just wanted to let you guys know that these attachments will not work with a regular Nerf rail. They are a little too tight and they just unfortunately will not work. Uh, it would have been cool to see these work on an Elite or a Nerf blaster that has regular Nerf rails, but unfortunately they will not. So to show you guys what it looks like on some other rival blasters, this is what it looks like on a Zeus. Obviously the grip really is only useful for the Chaos because it's the only one with a tactical rail on the bottom. But uh, I mean, I guess you could throw this on the side and go gangster with it like this. I mean, obviously the light part would still be useful in some with some blasters, but uh, as the grip, it probably wouldn't be. And I'm not sure I'd buy this, pay $15 just for the light. And that's what it looks like on the Artemis. It's a little far away. I'm not sure if it's super practical for this one, but it, it's a possibility. So I'm actually really happy with these attachments. I think they're really cool. I mean, they were $15 each, which is a bit pricey. I thought that was a little expensive, but considering that they're die cast, they're a much higher quality than your normal Nerf attachments. I definitely understand the price. Yeah, I mean, they're really cool. I'm sure this will be super popular. I'm sure the, the light grip won't be quite as popular, obviously, because there's right now there's only one blaster that really makes sense to use it with. But yeah, I think this the red dot sight is really cool. Uh, it's, it's This is just actually a red dot sight. I mean, it's not like the highest quality, obviously, red dot sight, but it actually works like a red dot sight, which is really awesome. And you move the lens up and down. It doesn't reflect too, too much. And I mean, I think it's really really good for a, for a toy you know so really happy with this i'm super excited i highly recommend these guys if you have a especially if you have a chaos i highly recommend these attachments this grip it makes it a lot easier to wield this blaster and hold it into your shoulder and uh, the grip is nice and big and comfortable uh, you can also detach it which is really cool i mean that's pretty pretty awesome i guess the one thing that i would say that's a little weird to me is so on the box they show this entirely black, like even the front here is black, the attachment point is black, the the whole thing is black, but obviously here it is not. It's orange, the front is orange. This is die cast, which is pretty sweet, this, this uh, front panel here where the batteries go, 
but it's orange, so that's I mean, doesn't really make sense why they would show it all black in the on the box. People will buy it thinking they're it's going to be all black, and then you open it up and it's not. So I think that was a little bit of a mistake on Hasbro's part. Um, not huge. I don't really care if there's orange on it. It doesn't bother me too much. But I thought all black would have been a little bit better and a little more tactical. But nevertheless, I maybe they decided at the end that they needed to make a little bit of it orange. I really don't know, but. Cool. I think it's awesome that it's going to work on either your blue or red blasters, obviously. And uh, a little unfortunate that it doesn't work with Elite or Modulus or other blasters with the the normal in-strike rails. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, there's obviously lots of attachments to choose from on, on that side of things. But uh, glad we have some that will work well with the, the uh, rival line. I know you could fit some of them on from the nerf line. You could slip them over, but they're just... They just weren't quite right, and they usually didn't go with the colors. Obviously, this being all black, except for the bits of orange, is super tactical, and I think it's really cool. So, highly recommend these things. Uh, I picked mine up at Target. I'll put the DPCI code in the description box, but they should be out on shelves very soon. If you don't see them, you can go to BrickSeek and type in that DPCI code and see if your nearest Target has them in stock, and if they don't have them out, ask somebody they usually can pull it out of the back for you so that's really cool and i'm sure they'll be on amazon also soon so put all those links in the description box thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate your viewership and as always peace out